All right, what's on the bench today? We have a review today uh, sent in by the Redivis company. Uh, people will recognize this if, they, if you watched one of my videos. I'll link it down below. I did a review on the repeater. This is the RT97S, a 10 watt repeater. This is a GMRS repeater. Um, and uh, like I said, I'll, I'll link that down below. Did a bunch of tests and a teardown, but they've come up with a new model, okay? And so the new model is pretty heavy. It's about eight pounds. Um, let me put this away. So uh, this one looks a lot nicer, I think. Uh, they've spent some more money on the, uh, on the packaging, which is, which is a, a bit more streamlined than the other one. The other one looks like a box that they kind of found. This one looks like it's, it's been engineered for the purpose. Uh, it looks really, really nice. Um, it has a, uh, a connector for the RF here. Um, and uh, it has that nine pin connector. They've recessed it now, so it's not sticking out. The other one, it stuck out. Uh, and then this is the uh, power supply connector uh, here. Okay, display in the front and some buttons for the menu system and stuff, all right? So the other uh, model, the S model was 10 watts. This one is 22 watts, okay? So more than double the power. So I think this would be a very nice addition if you're doing uh, uh, if you want to have your own repeater, a lot of people use these in the field when they go, you know, out, uh, maybe RTV, uh, R, R, you know, ATV or, or Jeep or something like that out in the, and you want to set up a local repeater so everybody can talk to one another, be a nice thing to have, okay? So it comes with a handle. And before you couldn't actually set this thing down, it, it would, it, you could only set it down this, then this orientation. Uh, so it's nice that they, uh, uh, they they made it so you can actually put it up on end, which is which is handy. All right, so um, let's see. Uh, just to get things out of the way, it's GMRS. You must have an FCC license for GMRS. Once you have an, uh, a license, it's good for you and your family. And then it also covers the use of a repeater. Uh, it's up to you to identify yourself during transmissions, like every 15 minutes, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, you can follow the rules, okay? But uh, today we're just going to take a look at, uh, at the unit itself. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think uh, first thing to do is maybe uh, let's measure its power output. Power going in. It's pretty, pretty power hungry, right? 22 watts. So it comes with a 150. Uh, 15, 15 volt, 10 amp, 150 watts, uh, 100 to 240 volts. So let's plug this, uh, let's plug this in. And uh, so it, it does boot up right of this. And there we go. And it's got, you know, it's got memories and channels and stuff. Uh, it does come with some accessories. Uh, the accessories are uh, the the uh, a uh, 12 volt adapter that plugs right into the device, and so you don't need that brick. You can hook it up to your cigarette lighter. Uh, it comes with a programming cable, uh, and it comes with some brackets and stuff. You want to mount it to something like a Jeep. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook the output up. I'll put an adapter, uh, PL259 adapter on, that converts it to DNC just to make things easy. And then I'm going to use a, uh, my, uh, let's see here, you can't see any of that, can you? Let's see here. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this. Uh, I'm gonna be using a WaveTech power meter uh, and a, a 30 dB, 30 watt uh, attenuator. Um, so we can, we can connect this up. All right. Now, uh, in order to get it to transmit, I'm going to use a little board that I built. If you go watch my last review, um, I did a video. I think it's a separate video. I did a separate video on the nine pin connector. What is that nine pin connector on the side for? What can you do with that thing? Um, and one of the things is you can actually add a transmit button. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I can reach over and I can I can energize the uh, energize the transmitter. Okay, so let me rearrange the camera. We'll take a look at that at the wattage output. All right, sorry about the camera angle here. Um, I've told the instrument we have a 30 dB pad in there, and I've told it to measure things in watts. So when I actually transmit, we're getting 23, 22.8. So as it heats up, it's going to fall down 22.2. 
So yeah, it's outputting its 22 watts for sure. And uh, I'll let it uh, I'll let it cook a little bit here. But yeah, 21.9. Okay, it's doing good. So that's high power. It also has a low power mode. So let me. Um, in order to go from high power to low power, you actually have to uh, have that in memory. So when you're programming your channels, you can program them for wide FM or narrow FM, uh, high power or low power. So I need to find, um, I'm going to find one of the uh, channels here that's set to low power. I know there is one. There we go. Okay, so this channel is set to low power. Let me transmit that one. 6.4 watts. Okay. 6.3. I think the I think the data sheet says 22 watts high power, 5 watts low power. It's actually putting out more than 5 watts low power, so yeah, about 6. Point, 6.3 watts, something like that. Very nice. And here's the little board that I was pushing the button on. Uh, I have a little uh, Little switch here that toggles the uh, transmit button and push the talk mic. So you can actually uh, hook up a microphone and speaker to here and uh, use this as a base station. You can actually uh, use this instead of as a repeater. You can actually transmit directly from here. So that's kind of nice. All right, let's take a look inside. There's just uh, four screws and it comes out. And uh, we have a, a rubber grommet that uh, mates with the uh, aluminum. And inside is a duplexer, nice big one. I think it's bigger than the other one. Uh, it's 25 watts, so it would, it would probably need to be a little bigger, uh, or 22 watts. So uh, I did a, a video on duplexers. You can look that up. It basically, the antenna comes in uh, to one cavity, and then there are these cavities that uh, will only allow higher frequencies to go this way and lower frequencies to go this way. So your transmit frequency and your receive frequency are going to be on different sides. And uh, there's some information here uh, about how the thing was tuned, what frequencies it was tuned to. Uh, over on this side, we have uh, the power connector. So power is coming in here. Uh, there's a relay to turn turn things on and off, um, and this is the uh, nine pin nine pin connector, and it looks like it's sealed, so the whole thing is waterproofed. Um, this board just connects to the other side through this ribbon or uh, uh, header here, and then and then there's just three cables that go well, two cables that go down. So the the um, Antenna's here, so it comes in here, and then we have the uh, transmitter and receiver, or transmitters on this side, receivers on this side, they're marked. Um, so all of the radio stuff is on the other side. Uh, this is just more passive stuff in the power supply. So let's, uh, let's pop this back on, and uh, I'll put the screws in there, and we'll, we'll flip it upside down and look at the other side. <clears throat> All right, let's take this off here. Uh, everything looks good and, oh, not much to see here. <laughs> Just one big PC board. Uh, so we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to remove this PC board. So the way that they've constructed this thing is that they have uh, a cast aluminum uh, plate that runs, it separates the, the, the bottom part from the top part. And so, they're going to have routed out cavities here, and then this board's going to mate down on it. So uh, this here looks like it's the transmitter. This looks like it's going to be the um, uh, the high powered FET, that uh, 22 watt FET that runs the outside. The receiver will be over here, and then probably a microprocessor over this away that runs the display. So uh, I will get out. I will get out an electric screwdriver because this is going to take some work. All right, that's a lot of screws. A lot of screws. Let's flip it over. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Um, let's put it here and let me rearrange the camera a bit. 
All right, so this is the transmitter, this is the receiver, microprocessor display, power supply section. Pretty basic stuff. So let's zoom down a bit here. Uh, this is the uh, power device here. And uh, looks like there's some filtering on the output. Uh, there might be some monitoring uh, on uh, on whether there's an antenna, you know, an SWR meter, maybe the little chip there that looks at something back reflected. It's hard to tell. Uh, looks like there's something going on here. Another, this is this must be the pre driver, so it just has an, a, a heat sink associated with it. Um, there is uh, some pads and stuff things lay on, so that's just. Uh, a heat sink there for that little guy. So he's pre-driver and and final amplifier. And then here's another pre-driver. So as the things come in, they get amplified one, two, three times, probably maybe even four, four or five times over here. But um, that's what's going on there. Uh, the receive circuit uh, looks pretty nice. It's over here. Uh, so uh, real nice filtering coming in and then going into some type of uh, uh, two crystal filter here, some type of bandpass filter, and then finally into a receiver circuit here. Um, this is probably an LO or something here. Uh, there's a crystal here and uh, probably a face lock loop uh, kind of generation over this away. Um, and then over here, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Obviously that's the microprocessor. I'm not sure about these guys here. One of them might be, well, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what those guys are there. Another little heat sink here. This is probably a five volt regulator, a 3.3 volt regulator for the, uh, for the digital section. Uh, I wasn't, didn't have it on camera, I'm sorry. So a microprocessor, I don't know what these chips are doing. It looks like there's a, a, a th three terminal regulator here for probably 3.3 volts to run this thing over this away. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, gold board. Uh, looks like it's done really, really well. Looks very professional. This one looks a lot cleaner and a lot more thought put into it than the, uh, than the uh, S version. Um, looks like they've evolved and made a nicer, uh, nicer looking thing. All right, I think we'll end it there. That was my review of the uh, RT97L. Um, seems like a, a, an improvement over the old one. Uh, I think it's got a heftier price tag too, though. But if you need the 22 watts, I think uh, I think this will be great. And uh, I believe they put a lot of engineering into this one and made it better than the uh, better than the last one. So yeah, there you go.